It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I was browsing YouTube and I saw that Samson dropped another track. It's called The Donut Fryer, which is a really interesting name. But I'm happy to see that this man is dropping music on a more regular basis because I feel like he is extremely good at what he does. So let's just get into it, see what that man's cooking with. Uh. Eating pastries at the motherfucking donut fryer Smoking so much fucking blunts, I swear that no one's higher Hoes admire the flow because what I wrote is dope I'm trying to bring a bitch back home that looks like Winona Ryder I ain't afraid of no motherfucking <laughs> opponent either bring Yo, Winona Ryder, I can't think of her off the top of my head as far as like picturing her But I remember her, yo, she's bad I, I know that she's bad without being able to picture her if that makes sense uh. And what is the donut fryer? Is that like a store in some states? <laughs> Eating pastries at the motherfucking donut fryer Smoking so much fucking blunts I swear that no one's higher Hoes admire the flow because what I wrote is dope I'm trying to bring a bitch back home It looks like Winona Ryder I ain't afraid of no motherfucking opponent either Bring it on wherever you want Let's go blow for blow like fighters I'll leave no survivors to tell the popo or notify I'm just a pit of skulls and broken bones From those who died here Keep it rolling like a Toyo tire No matter who you are I'm rapping in circles like we're both in a cypher They ain't got no style So they thought if they bite mine Then they get superpowers from it like they're told I'm about to I like this. I like this. This he, and he's still kind of throwing some shots at people. He's like, I know y'all be taking my style, my sound, my idea, all that. It, it's cool though. It's cool though. But you still ain't me. Like a Toyo tire. No matter who you are, I'm rapping in circles like we're both in a cipher. They ain't got no style, so they thought if they bite mine, then they get superpowers from it like they're told McGuire. I'm about to drop shit like broken pliers. I'm old school, so I ain't posting shit on Twitter, bitch. I'm posting flyers. I let it spread through word of mouth and watch it slowly rise to totals I ain't never seen before this in my whole entire life. Go ahead and have your moment for your glow expires and your motor dies and you decide it's time to go retire. I'm so inspired that I'll probably still be spitting dope shit after I'm dead. Now that's what I call a ghost rider. I'm told Let's go. I like this. I like this. Hold up. Hold up. At the word of mouth and watch it slowly rise to totals I ain't never seen before this in my whole entire life. Go ahead and have your moment for your glow expires and your motor dies and you decide it's time to go retire. I'm so inspired that I'll probably still be spitting dope shit after I'm dead. Now that's what I call a ghost rider. I'm toting iron like Marty Robbins and old attire. Holster on my side, horseback, ready to open fire. And if they try to hit back, I let them do it. Cause the shots they take don't even do shit like a dose of Pfizer. Anyone that said your dose a liar, knowing. Yo, my man taking shots at <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. Yo, I like this. I like this. And I and I you know what? I I rock with him just being like, yo, I'm in front of the camera. I'm just rapping. Like I just I spit well. I spit well. That's a weird statement. I don't know why that's the way I put it, but that's the way that I put it, and I rock with it. Dead. Now that's what I call a ghost rider. I'm toting iron like Marty Robbins and old attire. Holster on my side, horseback, ready to open fire. And if they try to hit back, I let them do it, because the shots they take don't even do shit like a dose of Pfizer. Anyone that said your dope's a liar, no one gives a fuck about you, homie. You're an open micer. A bunch of sad boy rappers with their nails painted, rocking leather jackets, looking like a gang of homo bikers. My eyesight is like looking <laughs> <laughs> Who is he talking about there? Because I know in the past, it, well, I'd say the past, the last track that he dropped, people were saying that they felt he was taking shots at Tom McDonald and probably some other people that are doing the political rap stuff. Does Tom paint his nails? When I think of rappers that paint their nails, the first one I think of is MGK. And I'm not throwing shots at MGK. I love MGK. I think that man is extremely dope at what he does. I'm here for shots at whoever, though. I don't give a shit who. If I like him or not, I'm always down for shots. I just don't know if Tom does that and he's talking about Tom. I just can't recall because I don't, I don't pay that much attention to dude's hands. Who gives a fuck about you, homie? You're an open micer. A bunch of sad boy rappers with their nails painted, rocking leather jackets, looking like a gang of homo bikers. My <laughs> eyesight is like looking through the scope of a sniper and my voice is the firing pin that hits the bullet primer. I could put you in contact with all your lost ones, dog. I'm giving out more bars than a mobile phone provider. Oh, shit. Oh, I want more. You gotta keep going with that. Okay, I was like, that's it. I'm like, yo, that was a fast two minutes. All right, cool. We got more. Dude, Let's I go. Can. Yeah, you can. No, I can. Yeah, you I can. can. All right, fuck it. The flow supplier. Giving you what you most desire. Putting rappers under more pressure than an ocean diver. The game's so watered down. I had to turn on my wipers in order to see him maneuver around the slower drivers. Why you sleeping on me, bitch? This ain't no overnighter. I've been doing this shit since the tyke when I was loading diapers. I wanted this with everything <laughs> in my body, my heart, and my soul, and my brain, every vein, every bone, every fiber. I'm Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You sleeping on me, bitch. This ain't no overnighter. I've been doing this shit since a tyke when I was loading diapers. So by that, is he trying to say, I, I, yo, since I was a tyke, basically since I was shitting in my diapers, I've been doing this shit. Like literally. <laughs> 
Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's actually funny. I wanted this with everything in my body, my heart, and my soul, and my brain, every vein, every bone, every fiber. I'm grittier than an episode of The Wire. When you hear my vocals poke through your headphones, you know there's no one tighter. Afraid to post your shit online because you know that they'll roast you, so you just avoid the web like you had a phobia of spiders. I'm groundbreaking when I spit. I explode like geysers, shooting straight up in the air and just keep going skyward till I blow up so high you don't even know where I am. Just to find me, you need to adjust your eyes and make your focus wider. You need a telescope and special focal eyewear and a wide array of high-tech radar location finders that takes pictures and analyzes them through photo science to track down objects lost in the solar system. Nah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Y'all can't see me. Okay. Okay. I rock with it. I like this. I like this. This man is cooking, and I'm, I'm happy that he's dropping some more because in his last track, he was talking about the reason why he doesn't drop a lot, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, is because he's so critical of every single bar he writes, every single word that he puts in. Like, he wants everything to be perfect, and that overthinking can lead to you not putting music out. And I totally understand that because it, it, it's kind of the same where I feel like I'll get to writing, and if it doesn't seem to be going in the direction I like it, and, and I'm like, ah, I'm questioning certain things. The next thing I know, I just scrap it and, and nothing comes out. And I've been trying to get over that and be like, you know what? Just put shit down, record it, put it out. People are going to like some of it. They're not going to like some of it. That's the way that it goes. But I'm doing shit that I know is nice. So let me just, just, just do it. Don't overthink it. Don't, you know. And it's funny because some of the songs that are most listened to, like my song Like Me that I put out a couple of years back, it was literally just one day I'm on YouTube. I saw a beat that I liked. It was different than what I normally rap to. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just try this. And I just wrote some shit in like 20 minutes. Didn't put a lot of effort into it as far as time wise. I didn't overthink it. I didn't question this bar or that bar. I put some goofy shit in there, like something about Mega Man. Do, 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 do. And I was just like, cool. The, the, that's fine. We'll just leave it in there. People loved it. Like it, it was that song I listened to more than like anything else that I put out that I was taking all this time on and overthinking and redoing and so it's like sometimes you just got to just push it down, just put it out and just let the world decide what they think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't just sit here and overthink it all the time because it's just going to hold you back. You're not going to get anything done and then you're going to end up dropping nothing at all. Right. And so it's it's like that mentality of. You don't know until you try. Right. Like you can't grow an audience. You can't get further. You can't reach more people if you're not going to put anything out. It's almost like the the risk of the failure is worth the reward of people finding your music that enjoy it. But if I don't risk that failure, then no one's ever going to find the music. So there's not going to be anybody that's going to be like, well, I enjoy this because I never put anything out in the first place. So you almost got to just, just, just put it out. Just write it down, record it, put it out. Do the next thing. Do the next thing. You almost have to take the Pac approach. Now, obviously, I do think that you shouldn't just rush shit. Pac was a, a special case because he's made some amazing music, even though he just gets in the studio, writes it down, records it. All right, next one next one that's why his catalog is so huge but there are some songs in it that are a little little shaky but he also has some classics and it's all from the same method so it's like just get in there do it do it do it do it like over you know what i'm saying and eventually you're gonna hit in certain places and people are gonna rock with it so i think that's probably the best approach let me know what you guys thought down below shout out to samson always much love if more of his stuff drops let me know i will make sure that i dive into it and i will catch you in the next one homies